，即刻拼青菜，明即刻拼青，明进攻，红即刻拼个正啊，红丁丁，红丁丁，红丁丁，红丁丁。So here Hello. is my student Michael, Mr. Was it 31 now? No. Yeah, the Dragon. He's also a dynamic artist. He does uh, photography. Uh, Michael, you tell him about yourself, man. Photography, painting, music, everything visual. Yeah, so links at the bottom of the video if you want to guys going to get in touch with, uh, with Michael and see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, today we want to give you a stand up massage, man. Amazing. For you guys at home, I'm Tao Chikaya. Welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> For the new newcomers. Uh, if you like what you learned from this uh, video, please subscribe and uh, get some more good stuff. Today's session, I'm hopefully going to introduce you guys to the skills that in the practice of internal martial arts can be used for. Yeah, so we do we do qigong, we do qigong, and today I'm going to hopefully introduce you guys to some of the stuff that we do. So we're doing here. The reason why we have the person of the, with the eyes closed is it's just to allow them to really go home within themselves, go inward within themselves. But also now with the eyes closed, there's less ego involved. I and mean, when Michael, as a practitioner, he's becoming aware of his breath. He's just watching the natural ebb and flow of his breath. And the reason why we do these stand-up massages is, you know, for people like Michael here, he's quite a prime specimen here. He doesn't really need, need to be laid on the ground. But it also means that he can, he's very aware of what's happening to his body. So the analogy is this. You can imagine taking your car to a, uh, get, getting serviced or to a car mechanic, rather than you going off and having a coffee and leaving them to do what they do, you are actually sat in the car or you are the car and you can observe what it is that they're doing to, to, to the car. Same thing. So you're really having an understanding, an introspective view of what's happening to your body. But likewise, it sinks your psychology or your ego back into your body. So you're more wholesome and more present in the moment. Right, you guys, you guys been following, remember the bong? Arms just nice and gently relaxed, gently clenched to the thumb together. It's almost like you're holding an egg. And what I'm going to do here, I want to send energy in. Let me send energy in. Just gently. And the image is, I'm throwing an egg and I'm catching it with the other hand from behind. You see, from behind. It's going to bounce. Boom. Yeah, just bounce. Boom. So this thing we're doing here, you realize this if you practice internal martial arts what I'm doing here is one of the skills that you develop the arms are very dead weight and the energy I'm sending in is very very subtle but whole bodied Michael as a recipient what are you feeling at the moment it's pretty you know upper body upper body feeling sink to the breath <laughs> so I'm going in tune with Michael's breath. So my intention here is to really register also how Michael's body is reacting to this. So I've got my, my, my back hand and I can see how his spine is reacting to this. I can see where in his body he's holding tension. Because wherever there is tension, the energy cannot flow. If it's, it flows less, less easily. So like we're, do, we're doing bonging, same bonging. I've just changed my, my tool into a hand, a palm. So the plexus, be very gentle here. Just be gentle here. Yeah, Michael's getting relaxed now. Most people, when we, when we go close to this area, stop tensing up. And that's not ideal. You want to be relaxed no matter what kind of position you're in. The more you relax, the relax you are, the more your internal organs can operate in a relaxed manner. Okay, got tightness in the thoracic here. Mm. Yeah, so if you just revolve around for straight, on this side here, got my left hand holding 
Michael's uh, Michael's chest, but it's right here, here now. I'm just gonna explore the landscape. So just for a reminder for you guys learning at home, if you want to get more sensitivity to the touch, I just advise you just to close your eyes. Become aware that when they breathe, their body expands and it meets to where you are making contact to them. And as you explore the landscape with your palms, using your palms as, as, as eyes, you can start to see, start to painting a picture of how their body is. Become aware of like the, it's almost like I, I see a picture of you know, valleys and hills. I'm very aware that in between this valley, there's a spine. And as I run my fingers along this valley, or along the spine, I can also notice that there is dips and dives. And these areas here is where there's tension. So if you can imagine, if you have any tension along your body, it's gonna hamper the movement of the spine. So if you're predominantly right-sided, you'll find that your spine will over torsion to one side. And if your thoracic area, the shoulder area starts over torsioning, what's gonna happen here, it's gonna start hampering the diaphragm. So I'll give you an example. If someone's dominant on the right side, the whole shoulder will lean, will kind of go forward to this, which means then now this diaphragm, if it's stuck in this position here, the diaphragm is now no longer working optimally because the ribs on this side here, the dominant side, are all squished together. I mean, the ribs on this side here are also squished together, but going just going opposite directions. Yeah, so we're gonna relax. The main thing is we're always helping to allow them to have more mobility in their spine. So the element of the internal martial arts is this, the more you practice within yourself, the more you have the ability to look within your own being. We use the breath as a medium to look inside. And when we say inside, we have the ability to start visualizing. So with your eyes closed, or maybe your eyes not closed, doesn't really matter. The main thing is just to watch something that is a constant. And within the human form, the constant that is very obvious is the breath. So we watch this coming and going of the breath. I'm just bonging Mike at the moment as I'm talking. I'll tell you guys what we do. But as um, you watch the breath, your ego is now in less control of the body. And the body is then able just to move, or just to be like, at ease. And the more you are able just to watch and behold, the more you're able just to let go and be. And when we say let go and be, we mean, we mean to be in the present moment. So nothing is forced, you know, there's always about, it's a concentration of energy. Nothing you do becomes forced. So it's also about, you know, the root of least resistance. I mentioned it before. So for some of you at home, when you become conscious of your breath and you breathe in, you might find that your breath is not flowing freely it's not coming and going like freely it's being hampered this hampering that you are witnessing is your ego or your character subconsciously holding on to certain areas of your body it could be by emotional or even external force upon your body that's creating this tension right so i'm bonging again the, the hands are the hands are nice and Gentle, gently clasp the front and just boom. Very slowly, just bouncing. <clears throat> so, bro, as I'm doing this here, you can you start feeling your sacred. You should we can you can acknowledge where your tailbone is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And as I'm doing this, you can you notice now that your body is just it's just trying to seek equilibrium all the time. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, and your eyes are closed now, mm. and you just watch your breath, and you'll be able to see more that your body is just always, all the time, just seeking equ equilibrium, all the time. It's like turning around with closed eyes, what are you doing? Mm. Literally, mm. literally. So I'll just take a step forward. I'll just take another step forward. Say you're feeling more grounded now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then now I'm almost not sending energy more downwards. So you can tell over here, innit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you feel it running down your legs now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now as I'm sending the energy in, uh, Michael can really feel it going more downwards. The more relaxed you are, the more the energy or the ripples or this or this percussion or whatever you want to call it, this force, the more you can register it. And this ability to register it is a central nervous system. It's not just a visualization, it's actual, you know, a, a tangible thing that you can register. <laughs> so everything that I'm describing to you is you know, coming from our philosophy. It's not, it's not modern science, it's, you know, it's coming from our philosophy. So please, <laughs> everyone's uh, left it on me. You. Can you notice which one's tighter? This one. Yeah? So which one's tighter now? I'm just gonna just continue sending energy. Take a step forward, please. Yeah, so this one's tighter, meaning that the energy is like it's just it's blocked, isn't it? It's not always going up and down here. Mm. Yeah. And this locate where it's blocked. Sorry if the guys at home can see that. But also note, ladies and gentlemen, that I've got one foot over Michael's limb. So this here is to anchor him down. So he also has a perspective here, isn't it, Michael? Mm -hmm. You're kind of constantly registering that I'm doing this. So you kind of need a, like a wide angle for this stance. I'm going to a bow stance here. Yeah, just gently going bow stance. I'm just exaggerating for you guys at home if you want to learn, learn how to do this, that's what I'm doing. But Michael, watch back in this video so you can <laughs> realise what I'm doing. Yeah, this is me doing exaggeration of it. But as you practice more, you the movements that I'm starting doing starts becoming smaller and smaller until the point where you can't see the movements I'm doing. And you see my whole arm is moving. Start from back from here. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. What I'm doing. This is the proper form. Coming from the whole body and the whole arm very nice and relaxed. Let's bring the stance in closer. Let's bring it closer. And then to the point where you can't even notice it now. See? You can't even notice me doing it. Yeah. Starting to loosen up now. Mm -hmm. Please take a step forward. Sit, step back. Step back. Mm. Sit down the ribs a bit more. So if you martial artists, uh, practitioners there, you always know kind of, you're kind of aiming for the center line, isn't it? You guys always aim to manipulate the spine. But you know, if you've got a hand on the spine, you've basically got a hand on the person. So I encourage you guys out there, like use the skills that you have cultivated to help other people. And together we can really make a difference, man. And we can encourage our youth to, you know, I think, martial arts and mixed martial arts and boxing is really beautiful isn't it it's a beautiful sport it teaches you to humble it teaches you, you know to to get to cultivate willpower and also respect and all that kind of stuff but please i encourage you to now introduce this element that i'm telling you that i'm showing you now to actually help one another you could do this after training you know 
and just practice the, the duels that you've had you've had by actually helping each other out which is when you guys roll on the floor it feels really nice isn't it but now to actually just have a conscious intention that oh wait i'm going to help my partner out as well so after your duels after your training just be gentle but it's really good, you, you get the idea of how people react to your, to your punches, you know what I mean? You get a really good reaction, like you, you feel like how they react to it. So now when you do roll on the floor, you're like you're in the ring or whatever it is, you, you, can, you know like, <laughs> you know what to do more, man. It just makes you more efficient, I feel, you know what I mean? Can you imagine like, knowing where to hit someone and it's gonna go right at a point where they're gonna tip them, tip them off balance rather than trying to just search in the dark to find it. You can be, be really pinpoint. It's a good hit, man. <clears throat> I've just mo moved um, Michael's limb out of the way just to, so I can access this, this hip, man. Still tight, but less tight now, isn't it, Michael? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm increasing the intensity of this bong now. Earlier you noticed I had one foot on Michael here to anchor him, but at the moment I'm actually anchoring him here. You feel I'm anchoring you here. Yeah. <laughs> you always got some kind of anchor. Take a step forward, please. Good. Side side step this way, please. That's it, another one. Good. And side step here, please. Okay. Feeling more grounded, Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you can swing a bit more. You can sink a bit more, on it. Yeah. So now Michael's gone to what we could describe as like a state of easement. He's slightly relaxed his knees, and he's sat on his saddle. So this is like a this is a horse stance, like a stood up horse stance. So now you feel that's much more relaxed now, isn't it? Yeah. You feel much more solid, solid now. Yeah. So for you guys at home, a good tip as well to learn to do is just to if you want to stand, if you want to really improve your posture. Yes, you just stand first First of all with your legs straight, but then just soften your knees and allow yourself, it's almost like you're sitting on a chair, but that's not really there. You see that like Michael's like sat down, isn't it? Right. But he's, what he's doing here is he's allowed his sacrum, or, the, what, or what we say the beginning of the tailbone, just to relax. So he's dangling freely, freely, but also it's allowed his pelvis now to be square. So he's actually literally sat on his own saddle. Yeah, his psychology or his ego, whatever you want to call it, the character at the moment is sat comfortably in its foundation, in its roots. <laughs> That's correct, isn't it? Yeah, so now we can move on to the next stage. I'm going to start working with these ones here. You start feeling tension here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're still just working to it. So I'm going to go, gonna go with Michael's low down now. I'm always thinking about my own integrity. So, you know, as a practitioner, always think about your integrity. I'm not going to do this. It's really bad, poor posture. I might as just, you know, so I've come down here, I've bent my knees, and as I bend my knees, look, now I'm in a proper, proper, um, proper posture. And the movement for this one here is this. Let me do exaggeration of what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going from bow stance, horse stance, just alternating. Let me, just, let me slow this stance down. You just become smaller. I'm doing the same thing, the same thing. Michael, it feels like my whole body hitting you, you know? <laughs> it's not just my arms, it's like the whole body, the whole body is hitting you. So we're just gonna send these energies in, it's gonna start loosening up the, the hams. really good for you guys practitioners you know the recipient here he's just standing here and he's learning to take licks <laughs> yeah you're learning just to kind of take blows you know but you're also allowing your body just to cater for it you know just to naturally equilibrate and for the person that's giving the energy you're learning just to be in good form just good form and you have controlled aggression here you know, this what we describe as controlled aggression but I have controlled ferocity so I describe it as like you know be a gentle tiger or a gentle lion my intention here is to project energy in I want to help 
So I'm being, you know, I have conviction in what I'm doing. But I'm being very gentle about it. And also, as you're doing this, make sure you yourself are always just watching your breath as well. It's very important. Because I'm teaching you guys in the moment, I'm having to hold my breath as I speak. But when you're practicing, just allow your breath just to come and go. Just go with the speed that your breath, just go with the speed that the natural ebb and flow or the rhythm of your breath permits you to do. Step forward, please. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. Feeling more stable now, aren't it? You're starting to feel more grounded, isn't it?